Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In the short video, I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked by patients, by students. What's the pineal gland and how is that involvement with melatonin? What is melatonin? Because I see it on the shelf. And by the way, I'm not sleeping. So good question. So the pineal gland is located basically in the center of the brain, otherwise known as the third eye. Now the pineal gland does contain some optical tissue which has a direct link to the retina because it is triggered and activated by low light, like amber light, and darkness. Now one of the functions of the pineal gland, it's involved with the circadian rhythm, our sleep-wake cycle. Like I said, it's activated in dim light and it kind of slows down its production of melatonin once we arise, especially with the, with the sun coming up. Again, it's triggered by darkness. Now, the thing about the pineal gland, it secretes melatonin. Now, what's melatonin? Melatonin, I did a previous video on it. We make melatonin by the cascade of tryptophan, converts into 5-HTP, converts into serotonin. Remember, serotonin is your calming neurotransmitter, okay? And then it converts from serotonin into melatonin. So this is why if you have a bad gut, because 80% of our serotonin is produced in our gut, if you have a bad gut, you're not producing enough melatonin, and this is also why you're not sleeping at night if you have poor digestion or malabsorption, because it's broken down through serotonin. Now with melatonin, okay, it's, it's activated by the, pine the pineal gland releases the melatonin. Now yes, melatonin is involved with our sleep. That's the main thing that's involved in our, with our sleep. But also, it's, inv it's involved with our HPA axis. This is the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. This is why when we're stressed out or have anxiety or some type of adrenal issues, this is why we can't sleep. Because when you elevate cortisol level, it kind of shuts down the melatonin production. Also involved with mood. Now again, if you're not sleeping, if you have poor, if you have poor serotonin production, now serotonin is involved with mood and mood disorders. So again, if you're not producing enough melatonin, okay, you're gonna have a, like a mood disorder. Also too, stress, involved with stress. Cortisol and melatonin, they're kind of like a teeter-totter at night. Now, what happens, yes, it's triggered, at, it's, it's triggered by the darkness, but as we sleep, melatonin peaks out at 3 a.m., okay? Right around the same time, that we are on a low of cortisol. I'm just gonna put cortisol there. So what happens if we are stressed out, the cortisol is gonna elevate, the melatonin is gonna decrease, and this is why we have poor sleep patterns. And this is why stress affects melatonin production. Now other things produce, will lower the, your melatonin production. Yes, poor digestion. Okay, IBS, irritable bowel, malabsorption syndrome, leaky gut, fatty liver. Also too, weak immune system. When, you're, when you have a weak immune system, you're going to decrease the melatonin production because of the serotonin cascade. Insomnia, if you're not sleeping, you're not producing enough melatonin. Anxiety, remember the anxiety ties in with the cortisol. Decrease estrogen and progesterone ratio, okay? That will, that will make you more estrogen dominant. Medications decrease the production of melatonin off the bat. And also to age. As we get older, we decrease our melatonin production naturally. This is why sometimes it's good to supplement with melatonin or supplement with 5-HTP. And I did another video on that. So here's some ways to, produce, to increase our production of melatonin. Aerobic activity. When you do aerobic activity, especially if you're stressed out, it will help alleviate stressors because of the dwarfin release. Dim the lights. Lights dim because melatonin is activated by amber light, by the sunset. Also too, low stress. Meditate before, about 10 or 15 minutes before you go to bed. It will help with the cortisol and melatonin cascade. Limit caffeine. Limit caffeine. Caffeine stays in your body for, for up to five hours. So if you're taking excessive amounts of caffeine, especially after three o'clock and you want to go to bed by nine, this is where it's going to affect the melatonin production. Also too, very important, low electromagnetic frequencies. What is that? It's this thing. It's your cell phone. It's a TV. 
it's your computer. All those EMFs will halt the melatonin production. This is why if you're watching your cell phone, if you're playing on your computer, if you're watching your iPad before you go to, before you go, you go to bed, you're going to have trouble sleeping. Okay? So the pineal gland produces melatonin. Melatonin helps you sleep. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Be good. Another one, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.